So I'm going to show you how to add um, images with a tab style button that's sort of basically the button on the image kind of comes all the way to the bottom so that it's not hovering on top of the image. And it's just kind of a unique look um, for some of your images that will have call to actions or buttons. So it's pretty simple to do. It doesn't take any code or anything like that. So let's get started. I'm going to open it up into my page. Let's say I want to add three images here. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of get my images in place really quickly. My image blocks. And then I'll go ahead and upload the images themselves. So let's see. Maybe we want it to be that image. And then we're going to click design for all these images and turn them into posters. So we'll do the poster design for your images. And then once that loads, you can click apply. And we'll do this for the rest of our images. Okay, so now they're all loading um, and they're all poster. You can see that if I click on them, I can write on top of them. Um, so let's say I do that right. Maybe you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you could add your title here. Um, so I'm just going to add it to one just so you can see what that looks like. And then what we're going to do, and you can do this on all of them, is come into design and under image link, we're going to add a button. And the button text can be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to say click. And then you can link this to whatever you want. So we'll just link it to the blog. So we're going to do this for all of them. So I'll go ahead and quickly add a button on each one. And I'm not going to actually add the links on all of them, but just so you get the idea. Button, click. Cool. OK. So now we have that, and you can see this one has a title. These don't. It doesn't matter. Totally up to you, depending on how you are styling um, your images here. So I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to head into the Style Editor, so Design, Style Editor. And then we're going to just find our image posters. Um, and you can do this by scrolling and finding them, image block poster, or you can kind of hover over it. Make sure you don't hover over the button itself, because that will just give you buttons usually, um, but if you, or like the button part. Um, but if you do image block poster, then you should have all these options here. So what we're gonna do is now you can kind of edit the style of the buttons themselves, depending on what you want them to look like. So that can be anything, right? So it can be, you know, maybe we wanna change this to pink or something um, to match everything else. Maybe we want the, border rounding not to be quite so round at all. Um, we'll take them down. I think probably you don't want them to be round for them to be tabbed. And then the other thing that you want to do is you want to do the button separation. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring this basically all the way down as far as it can go. And then you can even come in here and actually edit this number there. So even though it only goes up to 10 in my scroll. If I just put my cursor in there and change it to like 60, you'll see it comes all the way down like that. Um, and so I'm gonna move it to like 90, maybe 80, because I want it to be kind of in the middle there. And the other thing you'll notice is, and this is worth noting, what's happening is it's separating it from the title. So if your images aren't very tall, my title is now all the way up here and we actually can't see it. So this works best if you have just basic images and then you're putting your, your text mostly just in the button like these right here. So I think I'm actually gonna do 85 and leave them there. And then I'm gonna change the background color to something else um, just so that it looks, that looks, <laughs> that looks terrible. Um, but just so that you know you get the sense that you can kind of see the button what it looks like um, and how it kind of hovers off of the image itself. All right, and then we'll click Save. Okay. And now once we've saved it, that's basically all we have to do, and we're good to go. Now again, you probably want to get rid of the title on this one, um, but that's basically it. Now you have a nice little sort of tabbed button um, for your images.